What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and as you can see I've got 2's gameplay for you guys. And if you guys saw my last video I was actually playing 2's with Shaquem and today we are back at it on this Rush 2v2 event. This is actually my first time playing this event and it did not go as planned as you guys can tell by the title. We are down 8-0 in this game against 2v2 Rush winners and this was our first game of the day so... As you can see, we're down 8-0, but we do end up getting a steal. Shaquem's going to green the three, and just like that, we get our first point. So right here, we actually did end up missing a shot, but they're going to miss a shot right here. I'm going to get the board. They're leaving Shaquem wide open on the three. He's just going to drive, get an easy layup. And the problem this game was, as you can see, we only have five points. Right after we scored, we just missed a shot. We couldn't really go on a run. But luckily right here, this guy does end up taking a bad shot. He does fake me out, but then I do end up getting the block and getting the board. So now we kind of need to go off because if we do turn the ball over and give them another chance, they are going to score. So right here, Shaquem is going to hit another three. He does have all our points. I've just been dotting him. And speaking of dots, that's the thing I love about this player. I get a ton of playmaking badges. I actually do have playmaking in my archetype. And I get Hall of Fame Dimer on a big man, which is pretty crazy. As you can see, Shaquem finishes the crazy dunk right there. Don't know how he didn't get blocked. And in this first game... I was shooting horribly. As you can see, I was still shooting open threes because my player can't shoot. I have a 79-3 at 99 overall, but I was just not having good timing this game. So right here, back on defense. So he keeps giving this guy a lot of space. We didn't want to let him drive because he was a slasher. Right here, he takes a horrible shot, but luckily for him, he does get his own rebound. He's going to pass back out to the big man. The big man's going to get by me, but he does a really bad hop, so I'm going to end up blocking the shot. They have six seconds left. They did not score with that time. Right here, Shaquem's going to pass out to me. Finally, I can hit a shot. Those are my first points of the game. Right here, Shaquem is cooking this guy. He's going to get into the lane easily. He's going to pass out to me. Right here, I'm just going to end up driving, passing out to him. And this guy ends up jumping, leaving him wide open, and we do end up taking the lead. So we are feeling good about this game. We finally got a rhythm. We finally took the lead. 14 to 15. We just got to keep scoring. Don't let them score anymore because they did go on a run low key. But right here, they're going to leave Shaquem wide open again. He's going to green the shot. He's a great shooter and I have Dimer, so that definitely helps. He's actually on a lock sharp if you guys didn't know. He has sharp takeover. His three is not the highest just like mine, but me having Dimer helps and him being able to time his jump shot helps. So right here, we both ended up getting our takeover. I just wanted to play it safe. That's what I like to do with my takeover. I don't really like to take jump shots, especially this game because this game I was shooting horribly. So right here, I was open on the three. I could have hit it for game, but I just wanted to go into the paint, play it safe do a drop step and take the easy layup for the game. As you guys saw, we just won that first game 22 to 14. And at the top of the screen, you can see it says one out of two teammates ready, which means Shaquem didn't even load in with me. And then a few seconds later, you can see this message comes up on the screen. One or more of your teammates has left. So we literally had to start the event all over after winning our first game. But anyway, let's get into the second game. This second game was so much easier than the first because the guys we went up against did not ever win rush. They didn't have the rush sleeves on. So we felt good about this game right here. You can see this guy's trying to get into the paint. He ends up taking a horrible shot. Don't know what he was thinking. I'm going to pass to Shaquem on the three. He's not going to green it, but he does end up making it. And just like that, we're up three to zero. And in this very next play, I have no idea what this big man was thinking. I'm just going to pass to Shaquem and the big man just does not move. So I'm going to get an easy dunk. We're up five to zero. At this point, we ended up scoring another two because the big man wasn't moving, but he's finally back right here. Three seconds, I'm going to pass to Shaquem. He gets a lucky layup from the baseline, and we're up 9-0. to zero. So these guys, they started off with the ball. They are horrible on offense, and as you can see, they're not stopping us on defense. So off the inbound, the big man is just sitting in the paint. I do a fake pass. I'm just going to pull the three, and I end up greening it. So finally, I'm hitting my shots. I got my jump shot down, and we're up 12-0. to zero. And as you can see in the bottom right, their center's actually going to quit. I don't know what he was doing all game. He wasn't moving, so finally he ended up quitting. Now somebody's actually going to guard me. But right here, Shaquem's going to get an easy cut just like that. We're up 14-0. to And we ended up doing this play like two or three times in a row. I don't know what their point guard was doing. But anyway, Shaquem's going to give it to me off the inbound. Then this point guard just ends up double teaming me almost. I don't know why, but he's just letting Shaquem get easy cuts, which is probably the worst thing to do in a 2v2. I'd rather let the defender just shoot a jump shot because that's a hit or miss shot. But with layups and dunks, they're going to go in pretty much every time. So as you can see, Shaquem has sharp takeover. This guard's going to get stuck. Shaquem's going to get an easy dunk. We're up 18-0. to So these guys, they cannot stop us with an AI, without an AI. Doesn't really matter. So Shaquem's going to pass to me. And for the third time in a row, he's just going to get to the paint really easily, get a layup or dunk. Right here, he gets a layup, and we're up 20-0. to So we just wanted to finish the game. These guys were really easy opponents. And to finish them off... Shaquem's just going to cut again. I really don't know what this point guard was doing all game, but I'll definitely take a 22-0 lead. After this game, we were on the loading screen where it says, can you win four in a row, whatever. We're just waiting, and it says waiting for opponent. Everything's looking good, but then look who's in. I'm with this guy in a Utah Jazz shirt, some random pro ones, so 
Once again, it kicks Shaquem out and we have to start all over again. In game three, these guys had no idea how to run their offense. As you can see, Shaquem is clamping this point guard. Right here, we are going to end up switching. There was a little bit of miscommunication, but I do get back on the guard. Right here, he's clamped in the paint. He's going to have to take a really bad shot. He's just going to pull a contested mid-range. Of course, it's not going to go in, and they're going to end up fouling me. They did end up fouling a second time, but right here, they're not going to end up fouling finally, and they're going to leave Shaquem wide open for a three. Don't know what they were thinking. In this next play, Shaquem's going to end up passing to me. I thought this guy would close out, but of course, he's going to leave me wide open, so I'm just going to pull the easy mid-range just like that. We are up 5-0. So these guys, just like the guys we played in the game before, did not know how to play defense. It was really weird. Right here, look, they're leaving Shaquem wide open once again. After he greened his first three, he's going to green the second one. So yeah, their defense and their offense is horrible. Don't know why they're even playing this event. But anyway, back on offense, we have an 8-0 lead. We're feeling good about this game. I'm just going to drive right past this guy, do a hop step, get him jump in, take the easy layup, and we're up by double digits. Right here, I kind of wanted to pull this three, but I didn't want to pull from too deep, so I passed to Shaquem in the corner. He does end up missing the shot, but I am going to fly in for the rebound, pass him on the three, and once again, they're just playing no defense at all. No idea why they're leaving us open, because we're greening pretty much every shot. Like, yes, Shaquem missed the first shot, but every shot he's made has been green. He's made almost all of his shots. This guy's going to end up quitting the match, and finally his AI's playing defense, but this guy decides not to play defense on me. I'm not going to green it, but luckily the shot does go in. So we're up 16 to 0. We just want to finish this game. See if we can finally get to the second round without the game lagging us out. So right here, Shaquem is going to pull another three. And just like that, he's got sharp takeover and we're up 19 to 0. So we just need one more bucket. I'm going to pass it to him off the inbound. He is almost going to pull this three. He was kind of debating whether he should or not just because we were messing around at this time. Right here, he does end up pulling the three and he ends up greening a contested three. So we end up winning this game 22 to 0. And after the game, we literally just got stuck on this loading screen. We didn't even load into the second game. So that's when we just decided to stop playing Rush and we went to play normal twos. And I actually didn't record it, but I do have twos gameplay from the other day that I'm going to show you guys. So let's get right into that. In this first game of regular twos, we're going up against a glass cleaning lockdown. As you can see, I did not know he could shoot. And his teammate is actually a small forward, pure sharp. So right here, we're down 2-0. to zero. We just got to clamp him up. Honestly, that's not that good of a lineup, having a pure sharp small forward, because they can't really dribble. All they can do is shoot. So you kind of got to run the offense through the glass cleaning lockdown. Unless the sharp shooter has 70 ball control, then they can probably dribble a little bit. But right here, this glass cleaning lockdown wasn't doing much in the paint. I was pretty much stopping him. This guy's going to end up taking a bad shot, but the rebound does go right to the glass cleaning lock. So he's just going to do nothing in the post. He's just turning around, don't know what he's doing. He's going to pass to the sharp. At this point, they're just passing back and forth, seeing how to get a bucket right here. This center is going to set a nice screen. The sharpshooter does have a bad release, and I do get boxed out. So he's going to be wide open on the three. He is going to green it, and we are down 5-0. to zero. So all I got to do is get a rebound because that's the one thing I struggle on on this build. Defense is pretty easy. It's not the best build for defense, but I do have pretty good defensive IQ, so I know how to get stops. But once I do get stops, rebounding is kind of the hard part. But right here, this guy's going to take a horrible shot. I'm going to get an easy rebound. And I'm just going to go set a screen for Shaquem. I don't hit the guy on it, but I do get left kind of open from the mid-range. But the glass does close out. Right here, Shaquem is going to hit the mid-range. And we got our first points of the game. So we're down 5-2. to two. We just got to score a few more times just to get a comfortable lead. Right here, Shaquem is going to try to get the back door. We had a little miscommunication, so he doesn't end up getting it. But he is going to get to the hoop easily, which leaves me wide open on the three. And I'm going to green to tie the game. In this play right here, I didn't even mean to do this, but I basically set a screen on the guard. Shaquem's going to get a nice cut and an easy dunk. And in the play right after that, he's going to drive past this guard and get an easy layup to put us up by four points. Right off the inbound, Shaquem's going to take a weird shot. I don't even think he meant to do that, but he ends up greening a moving contested shot, which is kind of crazy because he's just a lock sharp. It's not like he has a pure sharp or anything, but right here, I'm trying to test this center's defense, see how much space he'll give me. Right here, Shaquem does get an easy layup. The center's going to end up goaltending it, pretty much hitting it into the rim, but it was going in anyway. And once again, Shaquem has a really good cut, but he is going to end up taking a bad shot and getting blocked. But luckily, he does get the rebound, and I didn't even mean to take this moving three, but I ended up greening it, which is kind of crazy. Me and him both green moving threes. And in this next play, these guys end up playing horrible defense. I basically get double teamed right from the inbound. Shaquem's going to be wide open for a mid-range. He is going to green it. And just like that, we just need one more bucket, and he has sharpshooter takeover. So I'm just going to give him the ball off the inbound, let him work, see what he can do. I'm going to set him a screen, hit this guy pretty hard. I don't even have brick wall, but right here, he is going to end up passing to me for the game. And I'm going to finish the game with 9 points and 6 assists. As you can see in this game, I did end up shooting 3 for 3 and Shaquem shot 6 for 7. So we did pretty good. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out.
Peace.